Go me. Come on, do an interview. Right up there on Paul's, so right next to the handle. Congratulations. Everybody say congratulations. <laughs> and um, as Kyla asked you, where is your home? Um, about 40 feet behind the church. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you live in a motor bus? And did you make that yourself? We did. Yeah, we, after, soon after we got married, we actually spent a year converting. We bought that bus from a church uh, up in UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And we spent a year converting it into a a home that we could live in uh, with the hopes and dreams of being able to travel and share music. And you are. Yes, you are. How long have you been traveling and sharing music now? Pretty much, I, I've been doing music uh, as my full-time um, ministry and mission since 2008. And then after we were married in 2009, we built that bus and hit the road um, early 2010. So we've been living in the bus and touring full-time for four years almost. That is so cool. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you were up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. What were you doing there in town? I was singing for a um, an event that was being hosted by It Is Written. Some of you know about that organization. And they uh, host events to try to raise awareness for the projects that they're involved in. One of which is something called Eyes for India, where they're actually uh, raising funds to send uh, money to India. And there's a doctor there who's doing cataract surgeries does them, he can do a complete cataract surgery in both eyes in two minutes, and so he is doing it by the thousands and hundreds of thousands of people who are being able to see who never could before. So when they have events to raise awareness for that, they ask me to come and sing on contract, and I do, and uh, that's where I was. Well, when we first met you, you came to our church in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we were members there, Marty and I, and we met your stepdad and your mom, and we met your grandfather. I want you just to tell us a little bit about your grandpa. I know this is a hard thing to ask you right now, but it does have to do with India. <laughs> so my, my grandfather was there at the, at the concert, um, and to have to see him in a, in a Christian church, a Seventh-day Adventist church, was a pretty special um, moment for us as a family, because uh, my whole family and my mom's side of the family, they're all Indian from India, and uh, my dad is a, American, and you mix the two and you get peanut butter, so. <laughs> and I am. Uh, but he was visiting us for a few months before moving um, back to Bangladesh, which is where he was helping support people there. And uh, we had him stay with us for a while. He did agree to come to one of my concerts, and it was very special having him there. And actually, soon after that, when he went to Bangladesh, he ended up passing away of a um, lung failure, there was, a, there was some issues that nobody knew he had, and we got the phone call, and so it was very special, the last moments I spent with him, we're in an Adventist church, and sharing music, my, my dream. Amen. And you share Christ, and we know that his heart was moved, and all that. It's interesting, because the day when you found out your grandpa passed, you were also coming for a second concert for us, do you remember that? That was very, we were very touched, so we've been bonded in those ways, and uh, hope, and gratefully, uh, I believe your dad, your grandpa heard the gospel that night and, and received received Christ. And so that's been, been a blessing to us. Why am I taking all this time? Just I think you should know the gentleman that's going to be, be worshiping with us this morning, this afternoon. How about this evening at 7.20? <laughs> and um, we're so thankful that you decided to stop by Miss Myrna. And Heather, we're, we're welcoming you as well. And uh, there will be more information later. 